Hello, classical women. Good morning, classic ladies. Uh, what's up, beautiful people of the chat? RK, I think you're muted. I am. Hey, guys. How's it going, y'all? Good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to talk all about how to dress modestly. And like we said earlier this week, this week, uh, we're following Abby's advice in good faith. As you guys can tell, I do not dress modestly. Nothing about me is modest looking whatsoever. I do not look very modest or very classical. But over the course of this week, I want to see if I can make myself look more modest and more classical. And if it's something, if I find something that I like from it in terms of style, then I'll take something into the future. And if I don't find anything that I like, then I will do a Marie Kondo on the clothes that don't spark joy and do them in a giveaway or something. Give them away to you guys as a prize. Uh, assuming they're the same size. I don't know. I don't know if I'm the same size as you guys. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Uh, but yesterday I did order a button-down dress on Amazon. 
So we're going to give it a try and see how that looks for modesty. Uh, we're going to react to a few of Abby's modesty videos, and then I'll take you guys on Amazon with me, and we can shop for some modest, cheap clothes so that I can try them out. That's my thought for the day. How are you doing today, RK? Um, I'm good. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Um, I was going to try dressing modestly today, but I'm going to the gym very shortly after our show was done today. So I was like, why would I bother getting dressed up if I'm going to go to the gym right after? That was my thought process, at least. Some people like to dress up before going to the gym. You're not you one of them. Dress up? Dress up just to get sweaty? <laughs> well, I think those people, well, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I think some people don't go to the gym with the intention of getting sweaty either. They just go to the gym with the intention of what? Just standing around the gym? Yeah, taking selfies. <laughs> Looking good. That sounds like a waste of a gym membership. Flexing. Depends on how many followers you have on Instagram. That's a good point. Um, I do take a lot of gym selfies, but I also am really working out when I do those. I'm not faking that. Um, anyway. Anyway, that'll be fun. I I actually feel like I've um, I got a little out of shape the past two weeks. What happened? So it, well, the, the I think, visit to New Orleans. Yeah, well, I think that I like the week before we I went to New Orleans, or the week leading up to that. Like I came there on Wednesday. That week leading up to it, I wasn't doing a lot of working out because I was trying to get all my work done so that I wouldn't have any work to get done while we were there because I had to get that Dave Hollis video re book review video out when we were there. Uh, so I was scrambling to get all that done, and I wasn't going to the gym at all. Then I was there, and I just kind of got out of the habit. I feel like. I got to get the habit going again. It's all, we talked about that, right? It's like atomic habits. You got to make the habit so that you don't even have to think about it. It's just like a natural part of your routine. And I remember in the book, Atomic Habits, which we will have to review on this stream at some point, not this today's stream, but our show in general, we'll have to review that book. But in the book, Atomic Habits, one of the things he was saying about uh, the hardest thing about people to progress is not that things are too difficult. It's that things are boring. So it's like, if you, once you start working out, you get really into it. And then after you've been working out every day for months, doing it is not interesting. It's like, has no, it's like mind numbing. So you just like, sometimes you're like, I would rather do something interesting right now. And it's harder to get the motivation because it's boring. And it's like people who can push through being bored are the ones who are successful. And I never thought of it that way before. Cause for me, I'm always like, Oh, success is about working really hard and like being willing to, to do more things than everyone else. But it's like, no, it really is. Sometimes you have to push through the boredom, which is true. He's not wrong. Completely yeah. agree. And that's why he also says it's better to do the action uh, every day, not necessarily the duration. So he's like, if you work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but you only have 10 minutes or 15 minutes on Monday, you should still do the workout because you're still telling your mind it's Monday I worked out. You're, it doesn't matter if you did it for yeah. an hour or not. I, I think that that's a good idea. I will say it's similar to like, so on Duolingo, it has the daily streak thing. And I literally, I, I practice my Polish every day because I don't want to lose my Duolingo streak. Once you get the streak going far enough, like, that would be really hard to get back. That would take forever to get that streak back. So I'm like, so to an extent, like an app <laughs> giving you a streak for, for something is helpful. I guess it's a, uh, I guess a weird mental thing, but yeah. Cause sometimes I get bored and I'm like, I don't really want to speak Polish right now. And then I'm like, but I'm going to want to lose my Duolingo streak. So there's something to be said for that. Anyway, I got out of the habit of working out is my point. I need to get back in the habit. So I I did I did a little of that on Sunday night. Last night I didn't work out at all because I was just a lazy sack of trash. I did watch a shitty Christmas movie. But that's not the same thing as working out. I am going to the gym right after this stream, though. So yeah, there's dude, something you, to be said for that. You, 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 it sounds like you're apologizing for not going to the gym when you are going. It's all good. <laughs> no, I just mean I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm not making the progress right now that I want to be making, which is fine. I'll, I'll get it back. Um, but that's, that, that's kind of how it goes sometimes. You hit those little 
uh, plateaus. So first of all, Kat Benson is here, having just given birth. New mom, Kat Benson, is in the chat. Congratulations, Kat, on your new baby. We are so happy for you. Um, yeah, just congratulations. You are awesome. Um, and then uh, Maggie's here. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Sarah. Everyone's here congratulating Kat on her new baby. Good morning, Larissa. Good morning, Anna. Um, good morning, Shelby. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Samantha. Uh, let's see. Um, Bad Astra is here. Oh, Bad Astra's video is now up and available to Patreon supporters. So if you're on her Patreon, you should be able to see the video. If you're not, you can see it soon on, on her YouTube. Good morning, Kate. Good morning, Cher. Good morning, Paige the Human. Putting on makeup in the most unclassic way, but ordered a button-down dress. Same, dude. I just ordered a button-down dress yesterday. We're going to get some more fashion advice from Abby in a few minutes here. Uh, good morning, Maria. Let's see. Who else is here? Good morning, Jasmine. Oh, dude. Jasmine has some of the coolest uh, style I've ever seen. I think that Jasmine, if you guys have ever seen any of Jasmine's videos, she has a YouTube channel. She has a style that is very, uh, it's modest, I guess. It's modest. It doesn't show a lot of, of your body, but it's, it's very cool. Like, it's very, it's very cool. Um, so I would recommend everyone check out Jasmine's channel. She's very cool. Um, I believe her style is like Japanese inspired um fashion and style are cool um no I, I i like talking about style i do agree with what abby said the other day about fashion versus style finding a, i don't necessarily uh follow the the modesty i don't know I, I i think that a person's style is so unique to them and it's how they outwardly present themselves to the world i don't think yeah. there's really a, any limitations you can put on that i mean i'm sure there are i just don't really want to dive down yeah. that rabbit hole um, yeah. But I do like the idea of style. I do think that style is a fantastic way to, I don't know, fi fi find uh, find your voice. I completely agree. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't think I'm going to be dressing modestly permanently after this week. I don't think that that's going to be my thing. But I'm going to give it a try this week just for the sake of it. Good morning, Jean. Um. Oh, Bad Astra had a wedding makeup and hair trial. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, dude, I, Bad Astra. I am excited for Bad Astra's wedding. We're going to have a good time. Douglas is here. What's up? <laughs> oh, Douglas, my dress is stuck on a crate in LA with 5,000 iPads. <laughs> I guess Douglas can't dress modestly <laughs> today. <laughs> good morning, Tina. Good morning, Stephanie. Coffee in hand and blanket on because it's chilly. It's been getting a little cold lately. Um, at least for me, where I am, it's been like, it's been starting to snow a little bit, just like little snow flurries. Um, good morning, Ariane. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Poison Ivy. Good morning, Nitty Dragon. Good morning, Brenda. Um, do, 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 do. Good, good morning, Caffeinated Angel. Uh, Kat, yes, we are going to do a Girl Defined Week. The reason that we did Classically Abby first is that she doesn't have a book. So we're going to have in, in December and January and stuff, we have a lot more weeks of people that are adjacent to Abby, like Girl Defined and like Ben Shapiro and people like them that we will follow. But they have books and I want us to be able to read and review their books. But we're not reading any books for the rest of November because RK is studying and I don't want to pressure him to read any books. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. <laughs> You're welcome. I just want, I don't want you to be stressed. The whole point of this show is that it's fun and not stressful. Um, Mallory, good morning. Mallory says me uh, chiming in from this about to cake some non-modest makeup on my face. Love it. We are going to do uh, makeup. I think tomorrow I'll follow one of Abby's makeup tutorials. Uh, <laughs> and, and I'll be dressing modestly and following a makeup tutorial. Um, we'll see what her makeup tutorial ends up looking like on me, it, but Wednesday I'm going to be filming videos, so I hope it looks good, because whatever it looks like, I will probably be filming videos like that. Um, good morning, Laura. Good morning, Smurfetta. Um, good morning, Chilla. 
I'm doing laundry, baking homemade pizza, and cleaning my apartment today like a classic lady. I have to say I'm quite proud of myself. Dude, that was me yesterday. I went to the grocery store and washed Chewy in the bathtub directly in a row. And I was like, look at me. Washing my dog and getting food. <laughs> um, but Chewy had to be washed because he has a little yeast infection on his paws. So he has to be washed with medicated shampoo. And he does not like it. He hates the bath. Paige can confirm some people do not go to the gym to work out. That's wild. Some people just yeah. go to the gym just to take Instagram selfies. Well, some gyms also have like massage areas and smoothie set. Oh, I mean, like, I'm not okay. saying I agree with people with the idea of going to the gym not to work out. I think there are much better social clubs to go to. I just think, uh, yeah, some people definitely go there with the intention of not working out. I don't know if this one guy, for, okay, people who go to the gym, I understand. I understand there's no longer a mask mandate here. And I also understand that our gym requires vaccination to enter. I don't understand why two people getting in a coughing match with no masks on is somehow, like, cool. Like, I'm just looking back and forth between these two men the other day. One on the treadmill <laughs> coughing, coughing. And the other one on weights just coughing, just hacking it up. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, okay, there's a good chance you're just coughing because maybe you're pushing yourself too hard. But can one of you, like, they're not even cover like, they're just so aggressively trying to get their germs everywhere. They're not even putting in any effort to cover up. They're just, like, communicating via cough. Like, like they're grunts I, it, 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 it's so fucking weird so yeah i was i was i was very unhappy with that situation well i think like in, the, in especially in like covid times like if you have a cough it's probably better to bring your mask just so that you don't even if it's not covid just so you don't spread anything to other people and then on top of that, if you didn't bring your mask because you're not actually sick and you're just coughing for like air like airway reasons, just like cover your mouth just because you're gonna freak people out otherwise. I don't know. That's my thought anyway. Um let's see. Ba -ba -da -ba -doo. King intern is here. What's up? Teddy North says, I used to dress like a hoe, but then I realized I was a boy, so I dress more modestly now. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Boys can be hoes, too. Yeah, you can You can totally be a, a, a bro. A bro. A boy hoe. With a, with a silent H, yeah. <laughs> I spell Hello, my bro and... with a capital H. Hey, Ray Area. I live in California, and it's 6 a.m. I'm here courtesy of my neighbor's cats. Good morning. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I read that literally for a second. I was just like thinking that she was saying, I take really aggressive shits. Just walk out of the bathroom <laughs> covered in sweat. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Aw Panda's here. Hello. Uh, everyone's excited for Cat having a baby. We're all happy for you. Meerkat says, my only critique of Atomic Habits is the title. I associate Atomic with Explosive, not Tidy. I would have called it Nano Habits. I think that I, I, I agree because I did think at first it was going to be about like big explosive habits, but it's supposed to be Atomic as in like, you know, the size of an atom. They're like very small habits. So I would agree with you, but I think the title did its job of getting people excited to read it. Yeah, and I think... I think it was this book. It might have been another book. It, it was either this book or Power of Habit, which was like, if you get 1% better every day, you're 37 times better by the end of the year or something crazy like that. So I, I, I like that idea of change as well, because it's not about reinventing yourself overnight. It's about um, accepting that it's a process and understanding that just making each day a little better um, can change your life completely agree all right let's see um oh we've got multiple sarahs in the chat hello sarah hello other sarah going on a date to a jazz club oh dude i love jazz clubs anna saying Gen dobre. how many people in this chat speak polish for real am i manifesting everyone speaking polish in the chat i am i am i'm excited about it i'm gonna have so many people to correct my pronunciation um morning amanda let's see who else is here good morning sharma do, 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 do. i'm gonna make sure i say hello because then we're gonna get uh oh mallory ben shapiro doesn't have one book ben shapiro has many books the one i bought 
to read for our show is his most recent. By the way, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy one of Ben Shapiro's books to read, buy it from your local woman-owned bookstore. That's what I did. Um, anyway, he has many books. Uh, he has a lot of books. <laughs> uh and they're long that's the problem too is they're long uh so we will be reading those in the future uh, i guess we got to get a white powdery set up to do girl to find week maybe i'll drop a sheet in the background or something um do 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 do, do. angry Otis is uh, people go for the sauna to the gym that might be true all right lots of conversation about what people do at the gym Good morning, Kristen. I recently watched the recordings of the streams I missed last week. That's awesome. I'm glad you were able to make it on uh, on the live stream today. Poison Ivy is Polish as well. Dude, we got Polish people in the chat. I love it. I love it. Um, manifesting Polish people. For a while, our power was just that we manifested Amanda. Like Amanda would just appear in the chat whenever we talked about her. That was interesting. Um... Yeah, now we need to try uh, saying the number 18 and see what happens. See if like, Dave Hollis appears. <laughs> or Dave Hollis we, critics. We thought Darman, we thought we could Dar manifest Darman, but uh, apparently that doesn't work. That only works if you're in a parking lot, I guess. Apparently. Um, or if you're a gamer. Not a gamer girl. Just a gamer. Because you wouldn't say a gamer boy. Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. So... Delving into Abby's modesty. Um, so this is the video that first kind of took off. This isn't the main one that we're going to be talking about today. This one's pretty short, but I've talked about this one before on my channel. This one has one and a half million views and she got ratioed pretty hard because this video was at the beginning of her channel. And I think the thing that with this video that annoyed a lot of people was this was when she was advertising to everybody on YouTube. This was when she was spending her advertising dollars left and right. You guys, I don't know if everyone remembers this, but about a year-ish ago, the reason Abby first got known on YouTube is that she advertised to everyone. So every time you open the YouTube app, top of the page was Abby with some video with an inflammatory title, like, you should dress modestly, or like, ladies, get married or something like that. Like she would have these like very intense titles on videos that she had advertised to put at the top of everybody's feed. So this was around that time. And that's why this video took off because this was a video that she had paid to promote to literally everyone. And a lot of people didn't like it. She wasn't seeking a target audience, but to an extent, something she did work. Um, and Anna, I agree. I like her background too. It's very pretty. Yeah, we complimented this background yesterday, but this is also an older video, so I believe I, I believe you said that her backgrounds have changed. Yeah, she moved, so she has a different. I don't know if she has her permanent background in her new place yet. But I, but I really, I really like the uh, the combination of the the purple there in the back with the plants, and then those three uh, dresses. What are they? Yeah, sketches, drawings. Yeah, uh, ironically though, these dresses would not be considered modest by her standards. But th that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like like Ben, I'm sure definitions shift when convenient. Yeah. Let's see what she has to say here. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, yes, caffeinated angel. This is what we were talking about a little bit yesterday. Um, she marketed aggressively, played that character for a year, and then she relaxed into herself. That's exactly how I feel that what she did. That's why I'm not like. I don't feel anger towards her. I don't think that she's a bad person. I don't like have bad, anything bad. Like I can, I can disagree with some of the stuff she says in her videos, but I actually have uh, complimented her before on the fact that I think her content has improved over time that she does. A lot of her videos now really do focus a lot more on here's what I do in my life. Here's what makes me happy. If this is the kind of thing you're interested in, then maybe do these kind of things too. It's a lot more like, reasonable and not as much like women if you're not doing this then you're a big hoe it's not like that so i think she was like more inflammatory to get the initial attention at first and now logan's she's a big hoe logan is a big hoe he really is um oh Paige. speaking of emma thorne she's going to be our guest on thursday she's going to be on the show so everyone can get excited for that um let's see 
And I agree with caffeinated angel. I think she's a good person and with a good heart. And I don't think, I don't feel that way about Ben. Yes. I completely agree. I think that when we're going to talk about Ben, we'll probably go harder on him just because Ben is a lot. He's just meaner. He's just, a, he's like aggressive towards people. He like tweets things like he regularly like shames murder victims and things like that. Like he, he Oh, did you see of- the Tim pool tweet that got him trending yesterday? Oh, also, wait, to, it- to, to, to your point on, on yeah. Abby also, just to say, um, I think the character she plays on line, I like more than Ben. I, I but again, we, I don't know any of them personally, so I'm not going to pretend that I can say I, I think that they're better or worse of a person because maybe Ben. I, well, I can't. I can't get Ben to Ben to that doubt. I really doubt. It. Maybe Abby is like a really, really polite person who has a history of like murdering people. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, again, we don't know what their personal lives. We're just talking about what they present online as their career. Ben seems like a much meaner person. <laughs> but yeah, Tim Tim Pool, he tweeted yesterday okay. like about sex work. Okay, yeah, Tim Pool had this tweet, yeah, and it was the responses were I can great. Pull it it up. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like if sex work is real work, does that mean that the oh. boss can just re- require women to suck his dick? And then people were like, I don't know, Tim, if construction work is real work, does that mean your boss can require you to build his house for him? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Tim Pool doesn't think things through. He just says stuff. He knows how to trend, though. So he is possibly the most talented grifter. Here it is. He is possibly the most talented grifter on the internet. I mean, he's up there with Dave Rubin, for sure. Dave Rubin is a massive grifter. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Here we go. All right, like, what did, what did Tim say? Okay, if sex work is work, then can a boss require women to suck his dick as a job requirement? Yeah, and then the, the responses were like, if construction work is work, then can the boss require women to build his house? If if this thing is work, it's like, dude, it depends what's in your job description. If your boss, like, if you're working for a client as a sex worker and the thing you're hired for is to suck his dick, then yes. If you're working in a completely different Excited job... Excited for that to get clipped out of context in a couple of years. <laughs> well, like, that, I'm talking about legitimate sex work here, you know what Oh, I, mean? I know. Doesn't mean it can't get clipped out of context. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I can, a lot of stuff I say could get clipped out of context. We, because we, we can deep fake you. We can deep fake me. Let's say for the sake of the argument, you've been a very bad girl. Let's say for the sake of the argument that you've That's been a deep fake. We can just take that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think it's really funny that Tim Pool, Tim Pool, is the man like, who supported Trump, who famously said "grab him by the pussy," then stole his uh, former employee's cat, so he grabbed her by the pussy. Is now he asking Tim if Poole he, yep, like <laughs> Tim Pool actually... grabbed his former employee by her pussy cat. <laughs> We have held it hostage. We have to do a week on Tim Pool. Some of the stuff he says is just ridiculous. He'll have videos where he's like, "Well, here's the problem with feminism: is it's just making all these women have really high standards." And now I can't get a date. He's like, "I can't get a girlfriend," and I know that for a fact that I'm not the problem. It's like, "Oh, you know you're not the problem, Tim. You know you're not the problem." I don't know. Maybe maybe women don't like dating guys who steal cats. I will be honest, like, Tim Pool is a bit of an enigma in that I can't imagine someone having that much money and that much clout and still struggling to find anyone to date him. Right? Like, yeah, the, fact that, like... the fact that the number is zero, that's, a, that's an anomaly. He's more like, of an outlier than you. <laughs> even Ben Shapiro got a wife. He's married with kids. Even, yeah, even Ben Shapiro found someone. <laughs> How happy she is in that. I mean, based on his reading of wet ass P word, then I, I'm not quite sure that she's happy in that marriage. But he he found someone. He found someone, and Abby found. Well, I'm not surprised Abby found someone. But Tim, well, a- dude, Abby's fucking gorgeous. Okay, yeah. like we can't lie here. Um, Abby right. is proof that that Ben would have been better off born a woman. Probably, yeah. She like it's it's wild how much they look like similar, but she's so much better. Like actually than pretty. Him. Like yeah, it's wild. <laughs> All right, Abby, 
take it away. I, I don't know what it is about the. I mean, I don't want to like completely objectify her. I know that's wrong, but I don't know what it is about the eyebrows. But she rocks them, and he just looks like he has resting smug bitch face. Dude, her eyebrows are awesome. I love. Her I know eyebrows. she she rocks them. Like she 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 can smile without feeling like she she I don't know dunked on the lips every time Ben Ben smiles. I feel like he's it's so condescending. Yeah, because Ben is always condescending. That's true. So you know, it's not, he's it's not the eyebrows; it's just his personality. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be talking about modesty, why it's important, and why it doesn't mean looking like garbage. Modesty. It's a concept that some women truly hate. It's also a concept that a lot of women embrace. First off, what is it? Modesty is dressing in a way that doesn't sexualize your body. I get the appeal of not wanting to dress modestly all the time. Even for those of us who do dress modestly, sometimes it's hard. It's fun to dress in a way that makes you desirable. It's fun to be noticed. But the question is, who do you want to be desirable to? And so the, the, the main problem with this video from the outset is that Abby is- Is it still playing? I'm mute. Oh, there we go. No. Sorry. No, I paused it. It was uh, my the internet problem... then. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the problem with this video from just the premise is that Abby is under the impression that there is a way to dress that won't sexualize you. In reality, people have all kinds of preferences and whether you are sexualized often comes down to other people's perception and it's not always within your control. Um, and Abby herself experienced this. I talked about this in one of my videos where Abby posted a picture of herself in her kitchen wearing like an apron and a very <sighs> modest looking dress. And she was like, I love dressing modestly. And she didn't have any shoes on, was the thing. And all the foot fetishists on Twitter were like, oh my God, I wish I could be your kitchen floor. Oh my God, send more feet pics. And they like really sexualized her feet. So the point is, I don't think Abby deserved that. I think it was awful that that happened to her. And I feel bad for her. I think that that's nasty that people were doing that to her online. She, that was awful. I think that she... I'm hoping she realized from that that there's nothing you can do to not sexualize yourself because she was dressed in a traditionally modest way, but people still found something sexual about it because that's how creepy men on the internet are going to be. So that was like the problem from the outset. I what, if someone has a <laughs> what if someone has a modesty fetish? Look, I I'm not going to lie. When I go on Tinder or when I went on Tinder in the past, I would swipe left unless you dress like a pilgrim. Like I, I fucking love pilgrims, dude. It's just some it's just something something about the way they just want to like dominate and colonize every piece of land they find. I, I it's such a turn on when they when they when they see me as a desirable piece of land. <laughs> and do you want to be noticed for being beautiful or being sexy? Modesty is about treating your body with respect. It's about recognizing reality that men are visual creatures, not emotional ones. It's about there's a thing too. Is like she has this whole thing about like what different genders are and it's like a little bit like where did you get this information like are men visual creatures yes but so are women are men everyone is visual and emotional to an extent i think there's something to be said for the fact that i think statistically on average men are known to react to more visual stimuli than other types of stimuli like in the sense that like that's why you see a lot of like more men making movies and more women writing books and things like that because men often need a visual image but that could not, also be access to capital it's, it could also be access to capital right i'm saying there's a lot of things going into this uh I, i'm just saying I, I sort of see where the idea of what she's saying comes from but it's not this universal truth like she's making it out to be it's like yeah I, and it would be nice if she like shared where some of this comes from like men are visual creatures here's this study that was done that showed how men's brains reacted to visual input more than women's brains did or something like that. But she didn't because she just assumes we're all going to take her word for it. Well, it and is one of those things that we have heard before. So I'm not saying it's yeah. true, but I'm, I'm also like, I can understand where she's heard it from. Cause it's, it's something I've, I've definitely heard. I assume you have the red pillars jerk off to it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and J Jasmine says, a couple older women have complimented me on my clothes and modesty and then assumed I would agree when they start slut-shaming um, SA victims because they're revealed. Oh, no, that's not good, dude. I'm so sorry that <laughs> people have said those kind of things to you. But, I mean, it, that's the thing. It's like, Jasmine is an example of someone whose style is modest not because she thinks that oh, I need to, like, other women are sexualizing themselves and that's ho shit. Instead, it's like her style is modest just because 
is part of the the fashion and the trend not the trend it's part of the like the aesthetic of the style and that's what's cool it's all about think, finding what works for you i think it goes no matter who you are smell over visual i mean if you wear a garbage bag as long as it's like vanilla scented mm -hmm. you you know you're gonna be sexier also, Abby doesn't talk faster than us. We have her on one and a half speed so that we don't get copyright claimed. I like seeing MK <laughs> instead of RK because I, I thought, uh, shit, who is he in South Park? The guy's like, MK, kids, MK, MK. Nation. It's about dressing beautifully and attractively, but not garishly. It's about embracing femininity. And it's about dressing in public in a way that's appropriate for everyone, from children to grandparents to moms and dads. Modesty is a way for you to respect yourself and respect others. When you go to the park and you're surrounded by families with children, is it fair to dress in a way that's distracting? No. So it's like dis distracting to whom? Uh, that's the whole thing. This video, the reason I think in part, like when I reacted to this originally, I think it got a lot of hate too because it it doesn't ever like give any tips. So we're going to watch some of her videos that are supposed to actually give some fashion tips. I, I don't know. I, I think that not distracting families at the park is good advice, but it's rarely done due to what you're wearing unless you're wearing, like, fucking Nazi paraphernalia. It's more often people brought firework crackers to the park and start lighting them, and I'm just like, dude, I'm trying to chill in the fucking park. Yeah, most, most, <laughs> most families aren't like, oh my god, that woman is showing cleavage all the way over there in the park. Like... Most families are focused on their own thing. If you're distracting families, it's probably because you're making a lot of noise. I get distracted by noise and smell way more than visuals. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I thought you're a man. You're supposed to be a visual creature. Not an auditory one. Yeah, you're right. I guess I, uh, I, guess I failed. You failed at being a man. No. Instead, dress in a way that's appropriate for the occasion. When you meet yes. a guy and immediately have a connection... When you, you go to the park, you should be connection. naked because you it's want to leave having your body... Is it being naked it's appropriate for the park? Yes, it's, 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 it's assuming what the park is. But yes, you want to get as much sun as possible. You want to get all of that vitamin D nutrients in. So, yeah. so just remember, if they're if they're distracted by you, <laughs> they should um, be. <laughs> so she's talking about how when you meet a man, you have one chance to make an impression, which I think really depends. Uh, I'm all for the, I love the childhood friends to lovers arc. I love the enemies to lovers arc. I, I don't think it's like, I guess she's talking about if you're going on this date and on this date, you're hoping to meet someone that you can get into a long-term relationship with. You have this one chance on this first date to make a good impression, but I, I don't she, like when you meet new people in general, you don't usually just have one chance. I feel like. Depends on what the uh, meeting is. If it's a job interview. Yeah. You only have one chance. And, and that's that. If it's a, uh, if it's meeting someone at a party, I don't know. Uh, probably going to have more than one. I also don't know what park she's going. Most of the park, like you, you went to the city park. It was a pretty chill place. The park was chill. I don't think I was dressed modestly at the park and no one cared. No one was dressed modestly at the park. It was It was hot. It's hot it was, in New it Orleans. It was a dude. hot day in New Orleans. We're, we're, we're yeah. in a subtropic climate. <laughs> yeah, I was wearing almost nothing at the park. And by the way, I don't mean I was wearing probably this type of tank top and some shorts. It's almost like flashing for beads on Mardi Gras was more done to, like, cool your, yourself off initially. And people <laughs> were just like, oh, boobs. <laughs> at the forefront of his mind, or you, as a person. If you are wearing something incredibly revealing, it will be difficult for him to focus on your personality. Instead, he might be focusing on your physical appeal. Of course, there are men who will look at you this way no matter what. But more men will think of you as a sex object if you dress like one than if you dress like a lady. Does that well, shouldn't that be a good way to weed out the shitty men? Like... Oh, you can't focus on what I'm saying just because I'm not dressed in in a way that I don't know. It's like, what is I he just, going on the date for? Well, what I don't like about this is that it's just all saying that like a man's personality changes based on what you're wearing as opposed to the man himself. Like, yeah, men will view some men will view some women as sex objects because that's just what they do. But it's not going to change with what you're wearing. Exactly. Does that mean you should look like garbage when you meet someone? Absolutely yes. not. You That's should what look like for. Yes, you like it's a garbage bag as long as it's vanilla scented. Look, I was told my entire life that personality is all that matters, so I have done my best to look as shitty as possible and seeing when it finally pays off. 
<laughs> but if you're dressing immodestly, you're not leaving anything to his imagination. And you're not giving him an opportunity to get to know you. I'm guessing you don't want to attract the kind of man who is only- Men have shitty women. imaginations. Just look at season eight of Game of Thrones. Next. <laughs> So she just said, I imagine you don't want to attract the kind of man who only wants to spend one night with you. And I, again, that's why it's like, why did you choose this video to blast out to everyone on YouTube? Because if you had your niche audience of people who were looking for long-term dating and marriage advice, then yes, that might be true. But you blasted this to everyone on YouTube. So in there is bound to be some people who do just want to have a, a one night thing and aren't like looking for a long-term relationship right now. I think she knew what she was doing. I think she oh, knew yeah. this video was going to get dunked on and that was going to drive up her engagement. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure she made a ton of money from all the... But she also spent a ton of money, so... Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying... If you're spending ad money to get attention, then it doesn't really matter if it's good or bad on YouTube. You're still getting the engagement. So that's, like... That was her whole video. Like, there's more to it, but it's basically her just saying a lot of the same stuff, like... <laughs> Do you want people to remember you for your body or do you want people to remember you as a mother? And it's like, neither. I want people to remember me as a business owner. I definitely um, want people to remember me as a mother. Like, I want to be a Mrs. Doubtfire. I know she was a nanny, but a Mrs. Doubtfire type person. Just that chaotic, yeah. protective energy. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd be a great mom. Logan thinks so, too. I think Mrs. Doubtfire is like one magic wand away from being Mrs. Weasley. You might be right about that. So Abby does have some tips for us. So I want to try to like take some of her tips in good faith and see what I can learn. So she has this video called oh. how to dress modestly. And still I completely agree high. with this too. I mean, it's one of yeah. those, like I, I was thinking when she was talking about uh, the sex objects addressing mod, I was like, cause you want to leave it to your imagination. That's that my mind absolutely went there. Cause it's like, so they're still thinking of you sexually. It's just now it's more of a game. Yeah, you, yeah, it's like you want them to have to imagine it. Like, yeah, I don't understand that. that this is so sense. close to saying Arcade Fire, and I approve, because oh, that's such is. a fucking great band. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, so this video is called... Yeah, I, 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 I know, Allie. I, was just, I just love Mrs. Doubtfire. I just wanted to reference it. R.I.P. Robin Williams. I just love that movie. Uh, how to dress modestly and still look smoking hot. You don't have to be frumpy to be modest. So let's see what this video has to tell us about modesty dressing tips. And welcome to today's video, where we're going to be talking about how to dress modestly and still look smoking hot. <laughs> I mean, I want to look smoking hot. I'm not going to lie. Abby's hot. So I'll, I will take her advice. No, because personality is all that matters, Abby. It's our job in life not to look hot. I understand. Okay, personality is all that matters. Okay, but Abby's hot, dude. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well... So I recently did it. Who better to learn from? I don't fucking know. I'm that's, just gonna... That's, sometimes you wanna, you wanna learn things from attractive people. Like, I'm gonna take fashion and makeup and hair tips from people that I personally find attractive. Because I want to be attractive based on my own standards. You know what I mean? I feel like that makes sense. I'm gonna like start streaming sense. from the freezer. That way I can't be hot. <laughs> Might turn on the AC real quick. <laughs> Sit under a fan. Take off my shirt. Logan, what's up? Logan, you're a cutie pie. See, Logan has the best of both worlds. He is, he is adorable and just has the best personality. I love this from Maggie. I always ask my husband if I look frumpy, and he says yes because he likes the word frumpy. <laughs> a video all about why you should dress modestly and I got a lot of comments asking how to do it and still look put together and still look beautiful and I am such a big proponent of dressing modestly but not looking frumpy I don't think that dressing modestly means you have to look frumpy at all I think that there are so many options to look beautiful and still not dress in a way that's inappropriate there's definitely ways to dress modestly and still catch a guy's eye so I love looking in my closet or going shopping and finding pieces that I can add to my closet and add to my collection that will just really up my fashion game but aren't really going to make me look super sexy super distracting so modesty to me is just about dressing in a way that has a good intention behind it and follow certain rules, right? So I was raised Orthodox and in Orthodox Judaism, there are a lot of very strict rules. Some of them include covering your elbows, covering your collarbone, wearing skirts. And those are beautiful rules. And I think in the future, I probably will be adhering to those more strictly. So it was an interesting thing for me because I became less religious when I moved away from home. And during that time, I kind of explored how I wanted to dress more. And there was a definite- I think this is interesting. This is a very interesting backstory about how she's exploring like what about her, is, like what she's- 
how how her religion influenced her style and then how it influenced it less. This is an interesting backstory. I'm picturing, and I know this is rude to do, and I'm I don't I, I don't actually encourage. I'm just I like I'm picturing she she went she moved away from home and she stopped. She, she was no longer as observant, so she went through a hoe phase, but like a hoe phase for her where she started holding hands and shit. Yeah, uh, it could be, could be, yeah. And pull for me personally to dress immodestly. And I like talking about this because I think it's important to recognize that dressing modestly isn't just easy for everyone. I know that I still have times where I'd like to wear things that are shorter than maybe I should or that show more skin than I really should be showing. And it was interesting for me because I did dress a little bit more immodestly when I was in New York. And of course, my standards of immodesty don't necessarily match with most people's standards of immodesty because I had been dressing so modestly before that. But I did dress more immodestly than I was used to. And so, I mean, I, I can just say I appreciate how she's she's giving some... Uh like some uh, i can't think of the word right now but she's talking about like how her standards for modesty tend to be different than yeah some self-awareness i just meant like she's having something to compare each thing to like she's kind of defining things a little better in this video than the last one the last one was just kind of a, a mess and i feel like it was meant to be inflammatory whereas like this one is uh this when one she is, says I modesty you know she's she gave us very clear definition of the rules that she grew up with. Yeah. And then she said how she strayed away from it. We're getting a lot of backstory. We're yeah, really I think her context, yeah, context. context is, yeah, that, 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 that works. Yeah. It's like, basically she's like, when I was growing up, I wasn't allowed to show my elbows or my collarbone or things like that. Now I like, I dressed in a way that wasn't modest, but it wasn't modest based on what I compared to what I had before. It's all about what it's all about relativity. And I think, and she's acknowledging that. So okay, I think Einstein. <laughs> oh, man. And it was a very interesting thing for me to see how the way I dressed affected my interactions. And it did end up bringing me back to dressing more modestly. And now I love dressing modestly because I kind of understand why I shouldn't have dressed that way in the first place. And so one of the things that I like to talk about with modesty is that there's an intent. I think that's a, sh a shame that she regrets it. That she's like, I shouldn't have dressed that way. It's like, oh, there's nothing wrong with changing your style here and there over time. If you like dressing the way you dress now, that's cool. But like, there's well, nothing wrong like, with having tried something different. It's not like she did anything permanent either. Right, it's exactly. Like, yeah. like if she, she got a tattoo that said, that's what I'm thinking, like, Linda Abby, Ho, I understand that regret. Does Abby didn't. secretly have a tattoo from back in the day? <laughs> she got no regrets right here. <laughs> like, I'd understand that I one letter of regret. theory, she has to dress modestly because she has a tattoo just in, covered in tattoos covered like in from tattoos. Yes. <laughs> behind it right we don't want to be attracting men's gazes where they're only looking at our bodies we want men to think that we're beautiful and lovely and feminine and that could open up a really beautiful conversation between us where he can get to know your character because you were beautiful in the first place but not distractingly overtly sexual so having said that about my orthodox judaism and upbringing I guess that's what she's or what she was looking for and she found someone to marry that she loves and that's great but she it's weird that that's like that's not what everyone's looking for <laughs> i think she's got to keep that in mind i well, don't necessarily adhere with our reaction video for example i think we talked about there how what her, her videos were better when they aren't blanket generalizations of this is advice for a more fulfilling life and better from a perspective angle of this is what i did and why i found fulfillment from it Exactly. Like, yeah. If she's like, yeah, so I, I, I like, this is what worked for me and this is what my goal was and here's how I achieved it as opposed to this is what you should do because this is what everyone should do with that. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Um, Paige, ugliness is a privilege because then they get to know our personality. So chill. I did a blog post about this a few years ago about how I was a really ugly kid and how there were pros and cons of that. And um, one of the pros is that you know, as a kid, a lot of people talk about how too many little girls get, they just told they're pretty all the time. Uh, and that like, that doesn't help them foster their love of like other things. But like for me growing up, people would always compliment me on being smart because I really wasn't pretty. <laughs> But I like that. I appreciate that. Cause that was the first thing I was a positive stimulus was like, savvy, you did a smart thing. Um, but the negative sense. side is that I never know who I can trust because, um, when you're a little kid and you're like, "Ugh, I'm an ugly kid. Uh, adults will be like, no, you're adorable. And like, so I'm like, I don't know what people's standards are. I don't know who I can trust because if I talk about being an ugly kid and then my mom will be like, no, you were not, you were an adorable kid. I'm like, I get that you feel that way. Cause you're my mom. And she's like, no, it's not. Cause I'm your mom. You were an objectively adorable kid. Like, no mom. I was not. 
I've showed pictures of me as a kid to Tyler, who I am married to, and he's like, oof, yeah, you, 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 <laughs> you were not cute as a kid. I wasn't. I was ugly ass kid. I am. Um... <clears throat> I, it's, that sounds a lot like that uh, study that we've talked about a few times on here, where it was like the, the second graders who were solving puzzles and the kids that were complimented yeah. for being smart, they quit sooner on more difficult puzzles than the mm -hmm. kids who were told they worked really hard to solve it. That positive stimuli, stimuli of, of, of effort uh, made them work harder and encouraged them to continue working hard instead of believing that they were smart. So you're right. From now on, whenever I see a kid, I'm going to let them know they're ugly and they got to get smarter. To all of that strictly right now, but I still think that there are some really good rules to keep to when you're got to FaceTime my nieces today, today, real quick. I try not to show cleavage, but yeah, what you FaceTiming your nieces? I said, I said, I gotta FaceTime. I said, from now on, whenever I see kids, I gotta let them know they're ugly and <laughs> work hard. I said, let me FaceTime my nieces. Well, let's real FaceTime quick. your nieces and be like, hey, you guys are looking like shit, and uh, you haven't been accomplishing a lot lately, so let's uh, <laughs> listen, you little three year old. fuck. You gotta... I'm sorry, I love them, they're perfect. For the most part if i'm wearing a shirt that has a little bit of a v-neck and something accidentally shows okay that's like accidental but i'm not wearing something that is purposefully showing that and i try not to wear things like leggings without wearing a shirt over that would cover my bottom i know a lot of people are going to disagree okay so so that's one thing okay so i have leggings on right now to go to the gym with i ordered a button-down dress so if i wear leggings i should wear the dress or a long shirt over top of it because abby says don't show too much thick ass Dude, with me on this, but I thought I would. The super long shirt covering the legging here. bottoms is a um. That that. That's a really common look. Of, that was a really common look when I went to college. Yeah, I, I like how that looks. I think it's it's good. So like, you know, if she likes that, that's great. All right. Leggings is that leggings are inappropriate unless you are at the gym or you're wearing a long tunic or something over it because they. Okay, Abby said leggings are fine at the gym. I'm, that's what I'm doing today and my leggings is going to the gym. So we are good. We are good. Abby said my outfit is fine. Uh, not Probably not my shirt, but she said my pants are fine for the gym. Show a lot of a region that is distracting and I don't think that it's very appropriate. So if you're going to wear them, wear what a longer region? shirt, wear a longer the butt. I assume yeah, the she's butt. talking about the butt. She's talking about the butt. Yeah. Got it. Cause like, I, I was just like, I, I know. I don't know. I, I wanted to make sure that she was talking about the butt and not like just something else. Sarah wants to add me to her YouTube premium family plan. Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't know how to do that. DM me and we'll get it figured out. Brothers don't Their jacket comes cover up that Brothers area. And then if you're going to wear them to the gym, okay, more flexible on that. So <laughs> that's my view on leggings. Getting that out of the way. I think that there are just certain rules that make sense, right? Where you're not going to wear a super short skirt where if you bend over, you'll see everything. <laughs> But like, I'm not opposed to wearing shorts in the summertime if you're not wearing shorts that show the underneath part of your bottom. I think that's a little much, but wearing a pair of shorts in the summer when it's really hot out, I don't think that's inappropriate. I don't think most people think that's inappropriate. It just kind of depends on who you are and what you think. But I don't think that that's immodest, especially if you're not wearing it with the intention of, ooh, look at my legs. Everyone's so this is why I don't like this. This, this is why I don't like sense. this. She's like, you can wear shorts, but as long as you're not wearing them to show your legs. And it's like, okay, but like, how does the intention matter if it's the same pair of shorts? Like, I, 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 I don't like how she's establishing herself now as almost like the uh the the authority uh, the authority figure yeah. on, on modesty um because it, it's it's a really weird set of rules that can change whenever she changes her mind now um at least with religion you know it's strict you know it's been there for thousands of years you know it's not with judaism you know he, um you know it's not going away anytime soon and you can choose to not follow it that's fine but it exists and it's consistent i don't like how this is um coming from someone who chose to who said this is too much i'm going to make my own and um present it as truth of what modesty really is yeah yeah exactly yeah and so that's that's the thing is like I guess this is supposed to be, like, how she does it, but, like, th that it's framed as, like, here's how to do it. This is, like, this is what's okay and this is what isn't. Again, I'd rather her just be, like, here are some of my outfits. <laughs> you know? I'm hoping she does a video. I, uh, we have another video that to look at, too, but I just want her to just show some of her outfits so that I can just get inspired. I, the button-down dress was helpful because that was specific. But, like, the whole thing that's, like, you can wear shorts as long as you're not wearing them to show off your legs. And it's like, but like, it's the same shorts. Whether it shows off your legs is going to depend on if that person wants to look at your legs or not.
I don't know, man. I am. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys five outfits that you can oh, get some yeah, inspiration from. Oh, yeah, she's showing us the outfits. I just, oh, yes, Abby, you came through for me, girl. Of modest outfits that are still really stylish, still really hot, and still really kind of are attention-grabbing without being overtly sexual. And that, Of course to they're me, hot. Like, You're not spot. wearing shorts. <laughs> Thank you. I, I saw uh, I saw uh, that uh, joke uh, hovering over you, and then it just like splattered. Yeah, it was for a second. I was like not wearing short. I was like, uh huh. Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. It was a dad joke, Sabs. That's where you want to be when you're joke. dressing modestly. Very beautiful, very attractive, but not showing everything off. So let's hop into it. So the first outfit that I picked out was one that you could wear maybe with dinner with girlfriends. All right, girls' night outfit, or maybe even on a slightly more casual date night. And so I started off with this black. Okay, wait. I, I like this outfit. I like this outfit. I have a shirt that looks kind of like this. Now, to be fair, the shirt that I have that looks like this in the back is completely open to show my back tattoo. So that might not be modest. Wait, this is uh, at 55 minutes and 40 seconds. I just wanted to make sure I had the, the timestamp saved so that later when I'm back home, because I'm going to be out of the house today, I can download this uh, this live stream and make a YouTube or make a make an Instagram reel of it to Don't Trust a Hoe. Oh my god! Nice. <laughs> Don't be mean to Abby. Fine, I won't be. But they, they, how funny would that be? It would be funny, but like that would be like that's that's not how that would be the lack of the joke. Is she's not a hoe? The, it is the joke. I get the I get the joke. I get Thank the joke. You. Yeah, I like. No, I'm gonna say I like this outfit. I think it's a cool outfit. The shirt that I have that looks like this does show my full back to show my tattoo though. Okay, I, when I, I need got, to make a reel to don't trust a hoe. So if anyone here wants me to use footage of them, let me know. You can use footage of me for it. I don't care. Because <laughs> that song's I, constantly stuck in my head. It's constantly stuck. It's been stuck in my head the last week nonstop. It's been the only song in my head. It was stuck in my head this morning when I was feeding Chewy. I'm feeding Chewy being like, don't trust a hoe. And I'm like, Chewy's not a hoe. What am I thinking? As long as your intention isn't me. I'm not looking to add it up and divide into equal parts. I'm, it's more. It's more mode than mean. <laughs> thank you um i see I, I you can make a reel of me to don't trust a hoe as long as everyone deep now knows that they can trust me i just want people to feel i just want to be trustworthy I savvy just, take a take a 30 second video at the gym and i'll make it into a don't trust a hoe reel for you okay sounds good top i love this black top because it's really modest but it has that little bit of something different with these little cutouts at the shoulder i think that's really cool and it's a little bit blousy so it looks good with a pair oh, yeah. of pants it definitely more... doesn't have an open back once i got my back tattooed i went out and got a bunch of shirts to show my that had an open back because i wanted to show it off um and i don't think tight she's fitting. gonna now, have anything as you can see that. i'm wearing these pants and they are a little bit more tight fitting so for me i feel generally more comfortable wearing a longer blouse with it i don't think it's necessary because these aren't leggings these are pants but if Okay, but like, what's the difference between leggings and pants if they're both equally tight on your butt? That's why these rules seem kind of arbitrary. I'm glad she's showing off the outfits, but like, I don't know what the purpose of the rules about. You can wear leggings at the gym, but not out in public, but you can wear pants that are just as tight as leggings as long as they're made of different material. Like, I don't understand where that comes from. I think this video was made with the sole intention of her looking good on the internet in nice clothes and then she was like i need to find a reason to put this video out there and so she it wrote the thing, essay she after doesn't. That. she can just have it be like here's my outfit. here's my fashion she she could she she I, I would i mean i'm not trying to tell her what to do with her channel do whatever you're just gonna make you money i know you got a kid coming so so make that money but i i would love abby the fashion show channel <laughs> just like i got a new yeah, haul i like dude i like her outfits like she dresses cute yeah. Here's my new sponsor, Stitch Fix. Like, this is what I got this month. Yeah, dude. I Yeah, Stitch Fix should sponsor her. They probably won't because she's a little bit controversial. If you <laughs> are someone who's more uncomfortable, don't shake oh, yourself. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry, what? I, I was just going to say, no, she's perfect because it's like, if you want some of the attention of Ben Shapiro without all of the controversy. Yeah, that's Abby's true. She girl. doesn't have Ben Shapiro's <laughs> level of controversy. But I do, I do like this outfit. I think it's cute. Then wearing a longer blouse totally makes sense. I love these pants though because they're a really cool color and they stand out a little bit more than your average pair of jeans. Now, one of the things I love about this outfit is the accessories. So this is a really cute purse. It's just a fake leather bag. I really love shoulder bags. They're kind of my favorite. They're generally my go-to because they're just so easy to throw on. Darn man! She likes bags. She likes bags. Where's Darn man? <laughs> You got a I woman can't... who likes bags, although this is a fake leather bag, she said, so I don't think she's Darman's target audience. Darman's 
the women in Darman videos, they exclusively like like real Louis Vuitton bags. Oh, it looks pretty flat. <laughs> and then the shoes I chose are these really cool black mules. They're very interesting Shit, and they're the... super comfortable. Hmm? What what was the original dialogue in the room? I'm totally blanking on it right now. It's uh it's like Here's your coffee and English muffin. Don't oh promotion promotion <laughs> promotion promotion. Here's your coffee and English coffee muffin and, and burn muffin your noble. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good to go. <laughs> Next meme. Well, I think I got them at Nordstrom Rack, and they really right, add this see. flair to the outfit that makes it very modern. I want to see the next outfit. All right. I don't care she, about your description. Oh, I think of the she, outfit. Well, she's showing off her her jewelry too. I think. Well, shapes. I like these a lot because. I do like this jewelry. Yeah, she's got a lot of cool outfits. All right, so this is this is her cocktail hour outfit. We're about to see. Maybe but, good for a professional dinner or even a cocktail hour. And it's definitely modern because it's not. But first, we got to get an ad. Sorry, guys. I will join Sarah's YouTube premium family plan shortly. Abby Hannah is just trying to manage her expectations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. A cocktail dress. We're wearing a wide leg pant. So I love these pants. They are super flattering. And putting them with the silvery top, I think, really elevates it because these would probably be more of a business pant, but wearing it with a beautiful top. And that's a, it's a good outfit, too. I like it. Um, I did Dude, have she some has wide... style. She has style. Exactly. I did have some wide leg Oh, she's got a casual picnic outfit. Let's see. That's what she's wearing in the main part of this video. This is cute. She's just like a standard dress yeah, with a with a uh, a denim shirt over top of it. <laughs> and then this jean jacket. Just I'd like, still oh. be distracted in the park if I saw her in that because I'd be like, oh my god, that's classically Abby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I watch you on YouTube. What's up, girl? <laughs> Yeah, I agree we, we, with Anna. We should do our own fashion show. Oh my God, I I will do a fashion show. I don't think RK is gonna gonna dress in a feminine and modest way with me this week. I'm, it's, n it's not gonna be like Lularoe week. <laughs> I'm feminist. I'm modern. Dude, basketball. Okay, all the Kardashians date basketball players. This is as feminine as it gets. Okay, stuck it. Uh, but I will do a fashion show with you guys and show you guys all that all the modest outfits I try out. This week. Okay. Kay lost last Kaylee night. says, Kaylee says, I need a your morning guru fit. We'll do it. A they little bit a of extra lead. flair to the whole outfit. And I love these white gym shoes because they go with everything. And I love the color along the side. They're really comfortable. And I got them at Costco. So <laughs> I love the idea of pairing a skirt with white gym shoes. It just looks really good together. Then I've got my little accessories. I've got just little earrings that don't really get in the way. And a Kate Spade watch, which gives a little bit of... Oh, she likes Kate Spade, dude. Darman! <laughs> Darman! She likes Kate Spade. Where's the guy who needs to focus on his business? Kate Spade is the one that is supposed to be the more affordable designer brand. She's she's not here for the Louis Vuitton. She likes. The she Kate was the Spade. good girl all. She was the good girl all along. Who 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 accepted him when he was trying to start his business? Now they're married to play Bioshock. Dude, I like uh, I like this watch though. Genuinely, I think it's a cool watch. And then here's the last outfit. Oh, this is cute too. It's just like a Mickey Mouse T-shirt. Are those the same pants as before? I think they're the same pants as before. And then she's got this dress, which I don't really like, but it's not that it looks bad on her. I just don't think I would wear it. It's just not really my style. Um, I'm not sure how she dresses for Orthodox events. I wonder if she's made a video about that. This is just her dressing for everyday life. Um, yeah, I imagine she she goes to, to school. She dresses differently. And then she has a video about modesty hacks. Um, I don't think modesty is something you really need to hack. It's, it sounds like it's pretty simple already. I think it's about finding, like, so she's got, <coughs> let's, the timestamps have, okay, find flesh toned undershirts. So stuff like this, I guess. So I guess to cover up cleavage is my guess. She has sew up the slits in your dresses. Shop when the trends are hottest. <coughs> Wear clothing that fits. I mean, that's a no-brainer. And look at the hems on a rack of dresses. Okay, I guess that means like if you're at if you have a rack of dresses at the mall, you you look down at the hems and see which ones are longer than the others. Um, so that's not bad. That's not bad. All right. So Abby has given us some ideas. I recently bought, it's going to ship to me Look at my today, deep cleavage, Abby. <sighs> oh, look, that's not modest. You're nope, distracting everyone. You're distracting everyone. 
I well, that actually does distract people because like when I do that, I, I, it's like eh, chest hair. It's like yeah, I know, my bad. I, I don't think there's a problem with chest hair. I think chest hair is very nice. I like it. it. Makes me feel masculine. And now that I've been doing so much chest exercises, I'm like, look at this mutt. Like even my chest yeah. hair has muscles. Dude, I can't wait to start doing chest exercises. I'm not doing them till I get breast reduction surgery because I I was doing them and my boobs were getting bigger because there was muscle building under them. And I'm like, this is not okay. I already have enough trouble wearing anything at all. So this is the dress that I bought that's coming in the mail to me. I think this is going to look nice and modest. <clears throat> I assume. I don't know how it's actually going to look on my body. We'll find out. So that's going to be one thing that I'm going to get. I'm also going to take a look at some other things I can buy. Um, and if I like the style, I'll keep it. If I don't like the style, I will. Is the definition of modesty just like how much you distract other people? Because there are definitely some slutty fucking ghosts that don't distract anyone. And then cutie <laughs> pie in like a fucking, uh, I don't know, T-Rex costume would be very immodest because it distracts everyone. Wait, your best friend would call that a boob city dress. How? Is it going to show my boobs? That didn't, that looked like a modest ass dress. He, this is why I can't dress modestly. My boobs are just always going to show, I guess. Um, uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try that. And let me just search for modest clothes. Sappy, your, your boobs aren't boob city. They're much bigger than that. Your, <laughs> boobs, your boobs get invited to the UN sometimes. Yeah, you might be right about that. Well, there's when I went to the Planet Booty concert the other week, their opening act was a band called Titty City. Uh, and I got their record. Titty City was pretty cool. Shout out to Titty City, a band local to Chicago. Everyone check them out. Um, but yeah, they were joking that like they're Titty City. They're the, they're the capital city of Planet Booty. And I was like, I like that. But I'm I really like, love... also, oh, sorry. I'm like, you're right. No, my boobs are bigger than a city. They're, they're, they're they have their own like uh, military. <laughs> they have their own defense. You 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 have a uh, you have anti aircraft guns on your boobs. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was just thinking like how much I like how uh, you and I geographically are almost just a straight shot to one another. Yeah. I just, I, it feels nice being almost same longitude as, as my bestie. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, wait, Amanda, Amanda Okaka, you were at, you went to the, the Chicago Planet Booty Show the other week? You did? If so, we, we probably ran into each other there. That was not a big room. That's you're gonna, pretty you're, amazing. You're going to look down at your chest one day and just see like a bat symbol in the sky and you realize there's just like actually a, a living <laughs> ecosystem down there, sort of like uh, Bender in, um, in mm -hmm. Futurama when he has the, the people living on his chest and his butt and you're going to realize, oh my god, <laughs> there's, there's like a whole fucking city down there fighting crime and I'm a god. <laughs> Y'all, these boobs are going to be gone in three months. We have three months left. Until these are going away. Three months and of distraction. I, three months that I've left to distract the entire world, and then I will... Disappear. I will disappear. I'm going to go down to a size 34C is the goal, I, which is got That's the most they can take off. I know it's not going to happen, but it would be really sad if, like, you got the surgery, and you opened up YouTube the next day, and you were down to, like, 10,000 subs. It's oh, like, yeah, oh, no. unsubscribe. Well, <laughs> say my we did look at my analytics my subscriber base is like 90 percent female so i sure. don't think we're gonna have that problem hey females can like boobs too savvy oh i know i know but i'm just saying i think that women like me for more than my boobs will my boobs be doing a farewell tour oh absolutely i will say the start of the farewell tour did i show you guys i was jessica rabbit for halloween in new orleans i'll show you all a photo let me pull one up. I think I did a great job on this costume. Um, so that was the start of it. I'm trying to do as many big boob cosplays as possible before I get them taken off. Uh, I want to do, I, I might go to C2E2 for the comic convention. And if I do that, then yeah, where's my Jessica? Here's my Jessica Rabbit costume. Is this a good photo? I'll show this one. So this is what I was for, this was me in New Orleans for Halloween. 
there's my Jessica Rabbit costume. I think I did a pretty good job on that. Uh, so that was the first step in my boobs farewell tour was uh, having this costume. I had a, I took some, so here's a better picture, I think. It just kind of like shows off the costume. Uh, this is a, this is not a modest costume at all. Um, <laughs> here for the titties. But yeah, so this was my Jessica Rabbit costume that I did. And I will say, I actually did a very good job on the makeup. Not that the makeup was the focus for most people, I guess, but <laughs> this was, this was, uh, I think I did a good job getting the, the cartoon, the cartoony purple eyeshadow going. Uh, so that, that was my Halloween costume this year. So that was the first, the first stop on my boobs farewell tour was the Jessica Rabbit costume. Um, so I'm glad people liked the costume. <laughs> Uh, is there any other good photos of it that I didn't show? Most of them, I was also super bloated. So I tried to get it at angles where I didn't look extra bloated, <laughs> which was difficult. Um, oh, thank you for the super sticker, G. Walsh. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, but that was my very immodest Halloween costume. Um... Yeah, it was, here we go. I think this is a good picture. So anyway, that's what I looked like for Halloween. That was the first stop on my boobs farewell tour was being Jessica Rabbit for Halloween. Um, had to do that, had to do that. Um, so let's uh, take a look at some, yeah, nice, nice porch. <laughs> let's uh that, that that's a good house isn't it um so i just googled modest clothes no i didn't google it i amazon searched it sorry i need to use the right terms so i searched modest clothes on amazon let's see if we can find some cute modest clothes to for me to wear although if i buy them now i gotta make sure they're on like one day delivery prime oh wait i actually love these pants right here hold up i might get these Let's check these pants out. I like these pants a lot. I might get these. They're a little bit expensive though. So let's look at the size chart. Um, the best thing when shopping is I always look for um, people's reviews where they say their height and weight and all that. Okay, so if I'm 5'6", I'm So I would be, I would be a medium to large, medium or large. I probably get a large just because I don't like my pants being too tight on me. Um, and that's not very modest. Let's see how much it costs if I order a large, Boop. large, let's see. Uh, I'm glad you guys like shop. I thought it'd be fun. RK had to get on a call. I thought it'd be fun to shop together. How much are they? $31.99. I'll add to cart. And if I change my mind, then I'll change my mind. All right. So let's see what else we're going to search for. People who bought this also bought. On Amazon, you never know if the clothes are going to be good or if they're going to be bad. That's the thing, too. Um, let's search modest clothes for women. I'll get a filter this. to get it by tomorrow. Let's filter to that so that I can wear these this week. All right. So here's the ones with prime delivery for delivery within one day. That's what we're going to look for. I guess I could also go to Target, but then we can't shop together on stream. I'd much rather be buying from small businesses, which is what I normally do for clothes, but that's not going to be with free one day delivery. Um... Uh, let's see a lot. Of, I searched modest clothes. Some of this is just bras. Let's like sports bras and stuff. Um, hmm. Hey. Anyone sees anything they think I'd look great in shout it out to me. So I don't have to, well, I, I don't have to leave the stream, but I do have to leave my house. Is it, would it be distracting if I switched to my phone? You can switch to your phone. We're just shopping now. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, I can order same day pickup at target. Let's look at that too. Then. Because that will um, target same day pickup. 
because Target is walking distance from me. So that shouldn't be too hard. Order pickup. I, I don't want to dox myself and say which Target I go to, though. Um, I'm going to do this for clothes. I could probably get some Christmas-themed clothes, too. That'd be fun. Um, so let me get off of Amazon real quick. Search order pickup. Where's the clothes section? Do, 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 do. Women's clothes. Um, I guess we're just looking at all the women's clothes for same day pickup. All right, let's go on the Target website. If I have to share my location, I will have to remove the screen before I do that. Um, do, 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 do. do I have a thrift store? I might, yeah, I might check out the thrift store. I'm just looking for things I can do on stream right now. Um, I like these pants in this. I don't like the shirt that much, though. Women's clothing. Maybe I should search for something. So Abby suggested she was wearing some interesting long pants. She had an interesting... My, my um, bag that I take with me is like bright neon colors and it looks like it's from the 90s. I'm sure that's probably not the right style. But... Let's see. Do, 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 do. Clothing and accessories deals. New arrivals. Okay, let's look at these. Shot. Let's go. Just go to shop all. That's probably a good idea. Boop, boop. I don't want maternity clothing. I don't need mater. I'm not pregnant. Whoa, what did it take me? I don't understand the Target website at all. I feel like an idiot. I don't understand this website. Um, clothing. Um, what? Guys, I got to figure out. I would rock a pencil skirt? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Target has nice cardigans right now. All right, let's look for, let's look for cardigans. Order pickup. I'm going to search for a cardigan. Um, oh yeah, it shows which location I'm at. So I'm just going to pull up a few items and then I'll share the screen again. Do I like cardigans? I don't even know. We're going to find out. This one's called a grandpa cardigan. <laughs> um, I like stripey sweaters. Let me look for a, let me search for a striped sweater. That's a good idea. Striped sweater. Let's look for that. Oh, this one's kind of cute. Okay. That one's maternity clothes. I am not pregnant. And then we'll see how I look when I dress modest, if it if it works out for me or not. Oh hey, RK's back. Oh hi Mark. Yeah. Oh hi Mark. I have, I have a co-host. You you do? Is it Logan? Hello, puppy. He wants Hello, to ride shotgun with me right friend. now. First stop is taking him. I'm going to look for colorful pants. Let's see what comes up for that. And there's no results. Okay. So I'm going to take a look at some, some cardigans. It's getting to be, it's getting to be a little cold out. This is called the grandpa cardigan. This one's kind of, kind of, oh, it comes in different colors. Comes in different colors. Ah, it showed my target location. Don't come, don't come to my house, guys. Um, I gotta get a PO yeah, box. Yeah, yeah PO but it just box. it it didn't sh no it didn't show my address. It showed which target is near me. No, I did not dock oh, myself. No, no, no. It didn't. It showed which target is near me. <laughs> So as long as people aren't coming to try to stalk me by by hanging out at my target, um, then it's okay. Um, it's, it's target where you usually go to hang out instead of the gym. Yeah. Okay. I actually kind of like this sweater. Hang out at target. I dress modestly and hang out at Target. 
I kind of like this sweater. Since my hair is red now, I've considered getting, I want to get more things in gray and black because it contrasts with the red hair nicely. Um, so this, this sweater is kind of nice. I could get that at Target. All right. All right. And then let's see. Let's see if they have something. Is this a triple S stream? Is this a savvy shopping stream? Yeah, this is a savvy shopping stream. Although I probably do have to go soon because I got to walk Chewy and then go to the gym. Um, why walk him? If you can drive him. We can drive together. I don't have a car. That's why. Yeah, that's, that too. But also mm. just no health benefits. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, so let's see if I can find any, oh, let me look for a gray sweater and see what they've got available. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to just go into Target and I'll show you guys tomorrow what I pick out. Yesterday I went to Target, but it was just to pick up some food. Oh, so you do just go and hang out at Target. No, I know. I grocery shop at Target. You just go there and you chill. I used to hang out at Barnes & Noble all the time. Yeah, me too. When I worked there also, I worked there after college, I would just uh, grab books and bring them behind the register and read them throughout my shift. That's awesome. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into Target. And then tomorrow, before I follow Abby's makeup tutorial, I will show you guys what I picked up at Target. I will get myself some modest-ass clothes and I'll make sure I look awesome. So, okay. So I think we'll probably wrap up the stream for today. We got some advice on how to dress modestly. Uh, have some criticisms of the way Abby went about it, but I, again, uh, think that if that's if that style works for her, which it seems like it does, she looks great, then good for her. Trying to impose it on other people is the problem, but she hasn't been doing as much of that lately. So again, that's kind of what we're what we're talking about. But like we said, the whole point of the show is we follow other people in good faith and actually try what they do. So that's why I'm going to actually try. I'm going to try. Maybe on my, you know what? I hit Target on the way back from the gym. So on the way back from the gym, I'm going to pop into Target and see if I can get myself some modest clothes. And then I'm going to uh, work on videos for the week. So that's going to be my day today. Look at you being productive and shit. Look at me being productive. I'm also really hungry. I should probably eat before I go to the gym. Anyway. Hungry I, like the hippos or hungry like? Like the wolf. The wolf. That's 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 the better animal I was thinking of. You're right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we will see you guys again tomorrow. Keep on supporting small businesses. Savvy, you gallant narwhal. <laughs> you magnificent unicorn of the ocean. <laughs> yeah the target by me is huge the target by me is two stories and a and a basement parking garage i have a massive target and it uh it has groceries and then it has lots of stuff um yeah so i will see y'all tomorrow morning okay, same guys, time same place by you saint john You can give everyone a little tour of New Orleans. Not really, because it's, it's difficult to see the water in the car, and I, I don't want to like hold my phone up too high because I am driving a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna have a good ass time at Target today. That'll be what I do after the gym. I'll see you guys later. I'll post on my Instagram story what modest clothes I get from Target, and I'll do a fashion show tomorrow before uh, before the makeup tutorial. See y'all then. Bye, friends.